There are many disorders in psychiatry that have the prefix schizo. They sound alike, however, they have different definitions and they can be divided into two groups, personality disorders and psychotic disorders. Schizoid and schizotypal are personality disorders. However, schizophrenia, schizophreniform, and schizoaffective have psychotic features. But for this video, we will be focusing on the personality disorders. There are 10 personality disorders described in the DSM-5. These disorders are then further divided into three clusters. Cluster A, Cluster B, and Cluster C. We can remember them with the three W's, weird, wild, and worried. But for this video, we will be focusing on Cluster A. It's very important to note that patients with personality disorders experience symptoms that are so severe that it affects their social, personal, or work life. So let's look at these personality disorders in cluster A. They include three personality disorders, which are paranoid, schizotypal, and schizoid. Now let's focus on the two personality disorders with the prefix schizo. These two disorders often get confused, so let's take a closer look. I remember schizotypal personality disorders with the phrase odd type. Also the word schizotypal has the word type in it, so schizotypal, schizo odd type. Patients with this personality disorder are very eccentric and have magical thinking. Sometimes they can be seen wearing clothes that are outside of societal norms. However, schizoid personality disorder is a voluntary detachment from social relationships. They are considered the loner. They are in no relationships and they don't want to be. They will prefer to do a job that doesn't include much interaction with other people. For example, a security guard that only works night shifts or a gamer that doesn't want any social interaction. They just want to be left alone and play games. Schizoid personality disorder can be confused with avoidant personality disorder because they both tend to be alone but they are alone for very different reasons. Hopefully, these visuals will help you. Avoidant personality disorder belongs to cluster C, also called the worried cluster. Patients with avoidant personality disorder, they want social relationships, but they are worried about embarrassing themselves, they are worried it won't work out, they are worried people won't like them, and they just worry a lot about anything relating to social interactions. However, they very much desire having these relationships with other people. This is very different from schizoid personality disorder. These are people that are alone and they want to stay that way. They don't want social relationships. They don't want sexual relationships and they rather do activities that don't require them to interact with any other people. They also tend to have a very flat affect as well. For completion of the cluster A personality disorders, we have to mention paranoid personality disorder. So in this disorder, these persons are very suspicious of everything and they distrust people. They assume that people may be manipulative, liars, or just will disappoint them in the end. 
If they feel that they have been deceived in any way, they may react harshly and hold grudges for a very, very long time. Now let's do some questions to test what we have learned so far. So question one says, a 21 year old female presents for an annual exam. She has no complaints. While taking her history, she reveals that she completed her degree online to avoid interacting with people. She refused a job that would require her to give presentations frequently. She prefers to spend time alone because she is afraid people will think that she is not good enough. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Social anxiety disorder B. Schizoid personality disorder C. Avoidant personality disorder or D. Schizotypal personality disorder you can pause the video here and choose an answer before i tell you what it is so everything was leading more towards schizoid personality disorder until i reached the final line of the question which says she prefers to spend time alone because she is afraid people will think she is not good enough so that line lets us know that the most likely diagnosis is avoidant personality disorder. Remember that these patients are alone, but it's not because they don't want relationships. They are in cluster C, which are the warriors. So they worry if they're good enough. They worry if the friendship will develop the way that they want to. They worry about social interactions. So the answer is C. Question number two. A 20 year old female is brought by her mom for being socially withdrawn for three years. She spends most of her time at school drawing in the art room. When she is home, she stays in her room and focuses on her art projects. She declines invites from her classmates and avoids talking to her sisters. The patient says she rathers to just be left alone. Her exam reveals a flat affect, but her thought process was organized and logical. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Social anxiety disorder B. Schizoid personality disorder C. Avoidant personality disorder or D. Schizotypal personality disorder So this question should be a bit easier because of the first question we did. So this patient, she likes to be alone and she doesn't want to be around anyone else. She's not afraid, she's not worrying about anything, she just wants to be left alone. And also he mentions that she has a flecked affect. So that means that this patient most likely has schizoid personality disorder. Remember that patients with this disorder, they are alone and they want to be left alone. Okay, now question three. A 24 year old male is brought to the emergency department by his dad because he has slept for three hours for one week, trying to unlock the secrets of the world. The patient says he feels terrific and is seen responding to stimuli that is not there. He has been hospitalized four times for these symptoms over the past two years. When he is not in the hospital, he says he receives secret communication through his phone and in his mind. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Bipolar disorder with psychotic features. B. Schizophrenia. C. Major depression with psychotic features or D. Schizoaffective disorder. Pause the video here if you would like to figure out the answer on your own. If not, the answer for this question is option D. Schizoaffective disorder. In part two of this series, we will be talking about the psychotic disorders with the prefix schizo. So we'll talk about schizophrenia, schizoaffective, and schizophreniform. 
and I'll share ways that you can remember the differences between these disorders. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you like this content or would like to see more videos like this, then power up that like button, hit subscribe, and that notification bell. And to continue learning more, click this video right here.